Hi, it's Todd from Sideshow Effects once again. Uh, today I am going to run over how to install our new Cubase Pro Profile Pack for Windows. There's a few steps we've got to run through here to get everything up and running, uh, but it, it is pretty straightforward. You just have to follow them in, uh, in this detail and in, in this order. So the first thing we need to do, open up our web browser, and we're going to go to uh, this URL, which I will post uh, in the video below, and it's also in the documentation. What this is is a small piece of software called Loop MIDI that creates a virtual loopback for MIDI ports. So when we download that, it will be like this, a zipped up file. When we unzip it, this is our installer here, so we'll double click the installer. And we want to make sure this is selected to auto start Loop MIDI whenever we're logged in. Agree to the license terms. And install. We're going to launch it. So we're presented with this blank screen. Down here, the new port name, we're going to highlight this and just delete it. We're going to create a new one. And we're going to call it Stream Deck to DAW with the same capitalization there capital S, capital D, then click the plus icon and do it a second time. This time it's DAW to Stream Deck. Click the plus icon. And then we're done with Loop MIDI. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our Cubase Pro Profiles for Stream Deck download folder. This is the folder that you've downloaded from SideshowFX. And we're going to the key commands folder here. And you can see we've got a Mac and a Windows folder, went to the Windows folder. Now this is the uh, key set that we need to put into Cubase. So I've got my window here for Cubase. And it's at this address. So it's your username, app, data, roaming, Steinberg, your version of Cubase presets and key commands. That's where we're going to take this file from our download and drop it into our key commands folder. I already have it here so I don't need to do it. So I'll minimize that. We're going to launch Cubase now. Now with Cubase open we're going to go to the edit menu and go down to key commands and you see this box here, we have presets. So since we have loaded our key commands into the correct folder, they will appear here in this drop down menu and we scroll down to our Sideshow Effects key command windows. Load those up, say OK, and now those key commands will be driving the shortcuts for the application. Now also inside of Cubase, we're going to go to Studio, More Options, MIDI Device Manager. And what we want to do here is go to Import Setup, and we're going to navigate to our download folder once again. Into the key commands folder, there is a Loop MIDI XML, and we're going to load that one up. Say OK. And this is an installed device, we'll select it, and under Selected Device, we're going to change the output to DAW to Stream Deck. Now, staying in Cubase, we're going to move over to Studio, go to Studio Setup, and in the Studio Setup window, we're going to click on MIDI Port Setup. We want to make sure that the DAW to Stream Deck and Stream Deck to DAW are listed here and that they uh, are visible, that we have them visible here. Now the next thing we want to do too is we want to add a device and we're going to add a generic remote. We're going to go over to Import and we're going to navigate to our download folder again. And in the key command folder there is a generic remote XML file. We're going to double click this to import it. And for the MIDI input and output, we're going to select the appropriate ports. MIDI input stream deck to DAW, MIDI output DAW to stream deck. We're going to apply that and then say OK. Now in our stream deck software, 
On the main window on the bottom right we have more actions. Click on that and in the search box at the top here we're going to type in Cubase because we're going to install this plugin for Stream Deck. Just click install and that's finished installing and then we're going to import one more plugin. We'll type in MIDI from the same developer. We're going to install that one as well. And there we have it finally installed. Close that out. Now the last thing to do in Stream Deck is we're going to import the profile from Sideshow FX. Click on the prof Preferences gear. Go to Profiles. And we're going to go to the bottom menu here. Select Import. Once again, navigating to our download folder from Sideshow FX. And in the Stream Deck Profile folder, there's a Mac and Windows, go to Windows. And I'm working currently with an XL device. We have it for the regular 15 key and for the XL device, double click the XL. And when it's finished installing, we can close this out and we have the full profile here. Go back to Cubase. And now the MIDI commands will work for us through Stream Deck. Back to the start. We can fast forward scrub, turn cycle on and off. Now, of course, not all the keys that we've got programmed for the Stream Deck work through MIDI. There's a lot of keyboard shortcut commands, which is how most of our profiles are always built. But we detail in the documentation which are the MIDI keys that speak directly to the software. For example, you can go into the transport folder. There's some more MIDI commands here. And if you go into, say, track mix strip and launch the mix console and select a track, we can control the volume of the track and the panning through these MIDI functions as well. So you should be all set to go with that quick five minute setup. As always, visit us at sideshowfx.net and you can go to our support page. And if you're having any difficulties, feel free to reach out, send us a note, and we'll get back to you as soon as, soon as we can and help you out, get you up and running. Till then, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.